This deadly rally in Charlottesville, Virginia, are now planning one in Tennessee. The demonstrations by people who identified with white supremacists and Nazis turned violent and killed a woman. I can't believe anybody would want to put the word Nazi with their group. Tonight we hear from a Chattanooga veteran who freed one of the most well-known concentration camps during World War II. Thanks for joining us. I'm Stephanie Sanastasi. James Torres brings us that soldier's experience with Nazis and what his thoughts are on people using the word today. Here at the Chattanooga National Cemetery, you'll find plenty of veterans who fought Nazis about 70 years ago. Those veterans that are alive today say that word is offensive. April the 29th, 1945. How do you remember that date? That's a date, that date that you don't forget very often. That date is when James Doris freed prisoners from one of World War II's darkest concentration camps. There were 30,000 prisoners. At least 30,000 killed by Nazis in Dachau, Germany, according to the U.S. Holocaust Memorial Museum. And worked them until they were ready to collapse and then let them die. Groups like these who identify themselves as white supremacists and Nazis nationwide want to bring a protest to Middle Tennessee. Residents in the area worry it could look a lot like the demonstration that turned deadly in Charlottesville. I don't want there to be violence and trouble. The League of the South is organizing the event in response to the church shooting in Antioch that left one woman dead. On their website, they say its purpose is to support White Lives Matter and call attention to immigrants and refugees in Middle Tennessee. Doris says he disagrees with these ideas. And the fact that you're trying to be more powerful than another group and run them out of the country, things like that are just totally against the, what this country was built on. The date for the protest is set for October 28th. Doris says he hopes the idea of people identifying with Nazis is forgotten. That rally is supposed to last from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. in Shelbyville. Reporting in Chattanooga, I'm James Torres. According to the group's website, they had a similar protest in the area back in 2013. Right now, it's unclear where exactly the rally will happen. Harvest Baptist